Welcome back to Railroads Online and episode 17 of the playthrough series. And this is the third episode that we've been on building this line down from the iron mine. And we are ready to start putting on the finished groundworks. And we'll start here, overlap one. And we'll start off and we'll try and get it nice and center. Well, we should be at 1% down, though, a little bit more. And we just want to run along and connect some stone wall to every joint until we run out of length of spline. And I'm looking again at the left hand side of the ties and making sure I stay at the same height in regards to the grain in the timber. Now this might be a problem going across here and I'm using variable so that I can change it per segment. We might not reach the ground across here. If that's the case, you might have to skip a few segments because this middle will get deleted back out. That's how I didn't want to put, let me put it in. Didn't want to let me put it in. Not there either. Not there. Just hope it doesn't twist the ones in the middle. And now it's like, let's put them in again. Okay, that should let me put it in. There it goes. And now we can continue along our merry way. And see, that's put funny twists in it. This is what happens when you go from a long segment to a short segment. And that won't change in the new splines. If you go from a long segment to a short segment, you will get a... Well, I like to call them lightning bolts. <laughs> in your track and in your groundworks. Ah, oh, I want to fall down in the gaps. Not that there should be any gaps. And to stop that, you just start to kind of stay on the rail instead of being on the tyres. And you don't have that falling down in the middle problem. same problem here as we cross over this bridge but it's not going to allow us to place them down oh we've got that one oh, we're gonna have to skip a couple oh got that one in oh we should be reaching the ground there that should go in there we go away again oh, there it went but deep gaps it's sometimes hard to get it to snap to the joint there it didn't snap to the joint come on click in there it goes it wouldn't be so bad if we skipped a joint here because this will be deleted or really it's hidden and then we put the bridge in in its place. And I'm not sure how it'll go here. We might try and put some um, gravel in on this curve. I'm not sure whether or not it will stick out through the bottom down there. But we'll get a fair way down here and then we'll come back and we'll basically finish off this one section. We'll do it a section at a time as we go and finish off the ground works and bridge works as we go. So by the time we get to the bottom, it will be all complete. There's probably a couple more days worth of building on this line. But I'm, I'll do a little bit of it off camera. I'll do the, the flat section and the passing lane. I'll do that off camera, the bit at the bottom of this hill. But I will do the two sections 
where I build up from the smelter to the river and then build from the mines plateau down to the other side of the river and show you what I do there to make sure that you can get these two lines to meet up. And it's basically just lengthen the track up and down the river so that you've got enough length in track so that the grade works. And well, where they meet up will depend on where the bridge is placed across the river. Because it won't be on the defined spot, but it's on the defined spot. That one's a 2.75 grade and yeah, we've gone for 0.25 less. So we'll be further this way up the river. Yeah, normally I'd back, I'll come back and I'll backfill there off camera as well. Just in case you fall off there and you don't get stuck between the stone wall and the cliff face. Because it's very hard to get out of it if you get stuck there. I think we're at a segment length. We are, we've run out of segments. So we will right click this in and we'll come back along and we'll look at all the spots where we can take it out and possibly put bridge in and um, well I reckon we can go for a little tiny short bridge here so we'll hide that section that section that section and that one and this one here we can backfill on that one that little bit there too. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of a test here over the top to see whether or not it'll fit. So we'll get rid of the delete tool. And we'll just put a bit of constant grade down because it's easier to lift up and delete if it doesn't work. Won't be on 2.5. Ah fell off, I don't want to fall off. And see that sticks out there. Oh, let's put a couple of pieces in and see whether or not it sticks out or not. And I don't think we can get away with one more piece. Let's have a look and see if it's stuck out anywhere down here. And it, oh yeah, it has. Look at that a bit there stuck out. And so we'll straight away grab it and remove it. Which is a little bit disappointing. That only gives us about three segments worth. And I'm sure that if we put a... To try to blend it with... A pen down here, it'd probably stick out as well. Let's have a look, and it does. Just sticks out there. So I'll delete it from down there. That looks a little bit all right. Let's see what happens at the other end. stick out Don't delete that one delete that one delete one more and we'll come back and we'll do it from one further back might give us enough down before it starts sticking out and it has I think that's made it not quite look so harsh we have got a little bit of a line in there I can live with that We're not after absolute perfection I've got a tiny little gap there as well there's not much we can do about it
All right, let's look for the next bit that we need to delete. Which will be this big bridge right here. Make a chunk out of the... Oh, pardon me, out of the centre. And all the way along here where it's not touching the ground. Up to that one, and now I think maybe even one more. Oh, I think we can maybe even go one more. Yes, to there. And we'll have the same here, where it'll be too high to be touching the ground. So that one, that one, that one, maybe one more. Yeah, we'll go with that. The long bit at the middle, and that was the little Z. And one more back. Okay, now we can put in some bridges in those places. And 2.5 down, turn off the alt lock, and run along and snap it to every segment again. Hopefully these reach the ground and we don't have to go steel bridge. Ooh, I don't think that reaches the ground. This might be a steel bridge. have to come back and have a look to see whether or not that actually reached the ground. And I think this is another spot that might reach the ground. Oh, let's jump down and have a look. <laughs> it's kind of pointless to put it in if it's there. See, they have not reached the ground. No. And the spine there, we're going to remove it. Bridges did not reach. They're bigger than what they are when you put them back up here. Well, I suppose they would be because you're only going across this section. Hopefully there's enough sticking out here at the top. We can get this little bit of wood. There it goes. Oh, steel bridge. And because it's long, we're going to actually come back. One segment, two segment, three segment. It says here it needs to be placed in at two segment lengths. The steel bridge just has to be different. Yeah, we've got the old lock off, yes, yep. Okay, why has that positioned itself so low? Okay, I've never seen it do that before. Oh, I know why. <clears throat> We're going to have to build this bridge backwards from the other end. Because part of the transition is on the bridge. Oh, same thing, but backwards. One, two, three, and connect to there. Now we want to go 2.5 up. Ah, that looks better. And it's this one we want to connect to. Alt lock off. Now it's in the right position in the ties. And I'm not sure what's really going to happen here at the top. Hopefully it doesn't disappear and be floating. Doesn't matter if it gets a little bit low. Oh, that's a little bit high though. There's not much we can do about that. Just gonna have to put it in at there. Yes, yeah, so we're definitely reaching the ground now. So we're happy with that. Jump up here. And this first bit which obviously does not conform to the curve. 
It's got to be removed. And the last bit for this section is to put the bridge decking over it. We want to be on two back and we want to start here. Snap to there, the old lock off. And connect it to every joint along over the bridge. And I don't like to actually build track with this decking rail. It does not build straight, it skews off to one side slightly. And one pass where we want to go. Now before we click it in, we go to delete and rails and start clicking out there and hold. And run back along and delete the normal rail out from underneath. One more segment, and right click to end the spline, and tip and tail the decking rail. That's made a nice looking bridge, hasn't it? And the last one here off the end that doesn't conform to the curve. That looks quite good. And I think we can get rid of this little bit of groundwork so it's here to the my little help a bit that I was using to get up and down. Don't need it there anymore. We've got spots where we can get up and down now. Hi, right, on to the next bridge. All this here should be fine along here. I don't think it, yeah, no, it's not too deep on this side that it's floating in the air. I think we're gonna have the same problem here as what we had before. We'll try it with a wooden bridge at first. If the wooden bridge doesn't reach, we'll delete it and come back and change it to steel. Uh, I'll lock off. And it's possible that it won't reach the ground. And it has, there you go, first, first one there that has not reached. So we're going to have to go back and delete it. And these two at the top are going to have to be steel. spot and one two three sections back steel bridge connects to every second one click it in so we don't that bit on the end and we don't want the one bit on the other end oh well it doesn't look like it's actually going to show up to us there's nowhere to delete it from. <laughs> oh well, it doesn't matter, you can stay hidden underneath. And we'll go to decking rail on top. We want to be one, two back. I'll lock off. And connect it across the bridge. Oh, and that was a fail and because we failed, we stop it there. Remove the decking rail off the top. 
because we missed a link and we try again. Trying to build too fast. That's what that was. I missed the link. It becomes painful when you're doing a really big long bridge and you miss a link like that. And that's a lot to go back and delete and try again. And one past the bridge. Hi. Now we want to put it on delete. Start deleting from out there. Hold it down. Slowly wipe it over the ones we want to get rid of. to this one and put in the spine and then remove the last and the first well that's something that will change in the upcoming spine update with the new track building you will no longer need to delete the last and the first segments because they will automatically inherit the control point direction of the previous segment and you won't need to overlap anymore either. I'm not sure how that's going to work when you end a spline and then you connect back onto it again, whether or not the last segment that you put down, you have to delete before you start building again from the second last segment. That'll be a wait and see thing but like most of the things that i've shown in these tutorials will still hold true after the update all except for the multiple steps of building to try and you know um, get rid of z randomization that'll be a thing of the past because you'll just be able to do everything in one step Go. That, that went in really nice. Taking rail over the top, one back too far. Well, this will be a thing of the past, needing to put decking rail over the top of your standard rail. Because the decking rail and the bridge spine will be all one piece. They don't come separately. So this is a step that won't be there anymore. But, you know, the general rules will stay the same for building. Keep your segment length the same, ease in and ease out of a curve. But the, the little tricks to get nice track with the current track building tools, you won't need to worry about them anymore or shouldn't need to worry about them anymore. Yes, that's looking quite good. Quite happy with how this has turned out. Now, of course, last segment does not match with the... Gotta be on variable. So we can change it per segment. 2.5 down. And continue to build with the stone wall until we run out of length again and then we'll go back and we'll fill in where needs to be bridges again this piece might be a little spot where we can put in a little wooden bridge there'll be a couple of spots along here that'll look better with a wooden bridge than the Big tall stone wall. It's starting to creep up a little bit, gonna drop it down one little segment. There we go. Hmm, 
that became very close to the edge there. Mr. Link, there it is. I think this is a spot that'll get a bridge in here. The determining factor that I use as to whether or not I'm going to put a bridge in a spot is basically the side closest to the cliff, whether or not it's got a massive great big gap on it. If it's got a big gap, they'll put a bridge there. Like I reckon a little short bridge will probably work nice here as well. spot here we could probably even get away with a bit of gravel there maybe sometimes I wish the gravel didn't stand out so far at the base you could use it in more places if it didn't stand out so far because um, I'd never use it at that level of depth anywhere where I'd put it on the map so it'd be nice if it wasn't quite so deep and I'm I think and yeah, don't quote me, but I think we have got different heights of gravel depth coming with the spline update. So they won't stick off the side of the mountain so badly. Oh, it looks like we've run out of spline. Yep. Which is probably a good place because this here will be the start of a bridge here. that bit what's it all like on the other side I might leave that actually no, we will take it back we'll start the bridge from here on back along well this definitely needs to be a bridge here and yeah we'll leave it at that Ah, uh, that bit's not quite deep enough. Yeah, I think it might stick out a little bit too much if we try and put gravel in there. It's not quite a long enough area. Um, this little bit here, I think, can be a bridge. Three segment long bridge. And look, see that bit this here definitely needs to be a bridge. That has not reached the bottom down there, so this bit definitely needs to be a bridge. All the way back to there, and one more there. Uh, I think that there might look better with backfill in that spot. Not sure about this one though. I think we might go bridge here. One more. I'm not going to be able to get up, or am I? And the same again here. This one here, I think, can be a little short, three segment long bridge. all the way there yeah I think these bits here these can be all backfill and then we're at that bridge all right let's go put in some bridges might be our last section just checked our recording time and we're almost out of time otherwise the file will get too big and I won't be able to upload it and one more piece and 
the decking rail over the top. Yes, getting down this slope off the side of the hill is definitely made for a more interesting path. I don't think it's as straight. It definitely has lots, lots more little short bridges in it. deleted something I wasn't meant to delete there would have been a mess my right, next short little bridge so, 3.5 I'll lock off Come back and put the decking rail over it. I could have really done the decking rail over both of these, which cuts down on the number of splines instead of having one spline here and one spline here. If you build over the whole lot, you only end up with one spline with some hidden segments in the middle, which cuts down on the spline count. bridge and a half down I'll lock off So you can see the reason why I go that one segment past. So it's made the curve follow all the way into the end. If I had ended here, this here would be a straight. And if I had started on the other end there, this the first segment here would have also been a straight. And it just doesn't look right. So you overlap them. And well, then I like to cover over where the bridge is as well. That's why I come back and... Overlap this first segment with the decking rail. I think it looks a lot neater and everything follows the curve better. And one past the end. Delete the normal rail from underneath. Well, we are currently overdue for that spline update. It was meant to be out at the start of this week. And there's been no word yet as to whether or not it's near ready for the beta release or not. Yes, when it drops, that will be the end of this playthrough series as I will be working on trying to get the best out of the new building mechanics so that I can do a new set of tutorials.
Like the standard rail. And I think we've got one more little short bridge to put in. Makes it look interesting when you got little changes in the track like that. Instead of just being boring and putting this bridge all the way down. Yes, that is a little bit of a worry, that cor this corner here. There's no straight on this change of direction. It's very, very, very short. That may cause a derail. I think I got just a little bit too fluid with the back placement. I want to make it look too smooth. Uh, well, we won't know until we drive a train over it, and we drive a train over it fast. Yeah, delete that out of there, and there, this one, this one, and this one. And tip it and tail it. And there we go, we're back to the end of the, where we're up to. How are we for time? And that is it. That is time. Um, well, I will build the rest of this finished groundwork to the bottom off camera. And I will build the mines plateau at the bottom off camera as well. Um, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode.